I wish good health to all Ukrainian men and women. I held a Supreme Commander-in-Chief's staff meeting, various issues and diverse defense aspects. It lasted almost three hours. The topics ranged from military concerns, veteran issues, brigade matters, fortifications to weapon production. We are working to implement all our arrangements with partners regarding new weapon production, joint production facilities and a shared repair base. The goal is to maximize Ukraine's strength, with each month adding power to our defense. I want to commend our sky defenders. In just one night they destroyed 30 Shahed drones. A potent result. Overall, 104 Shahed drones out of the 112 used by Russia have been destroyed this week, most of them. Each destroyed drone means saved lives and preserved infrastructure. I express gratitude to all the warriors in our mobile fire groups, pilots, engineers of the Air Force and all our anti-aircraft gunners. Well done! This week also witnessed missile interceptions, including ballistic ones. Systems like Patriot, Nassam's, Jepard and other provided by our partners are working excellently. I thank everyone worldwide who helps. We are preparing for further strengthening air defense. We have already reached agreements on this. The team of air defense arises in almost every meeting and talk with world leaders. There will be more systems, more protection for the sky. And one more thing. Christmas is approaching, and while political activity may relax in many countries, we continue to work rigorously with all our partners who can help now and provide support in the future. We are preparing important foreign policy contacts until the end of the year. The entire team, our team, the team of our diplomats is working 24-7. I express gratitude to everyone in the country who maintains the same pace who tirelessly defends, works and helps. Glory to all who fight for Ukraine, glory to all who contribute to the necessary outcome in every area where strength is so crucial for us. Glory to our people, glory to Ukraine.